Hi there, it's Zabo here. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new, I hope you enjoy and stay. It is the end of 2017 and in today's video, I am going to be discussing my favorite items that I purchased in 2017. Uh, these are a few things ranging from skincare to beauty to travel. And yeah, I hope you will enjoy this video. Remember to click the subscribe button right down below so that you can keep abreast with my videos and hit the bell sign so that you can be notified every time I load a video. I'm going to start off this video with the top item that I purchased in 2017 and uh, <laughs> The top item that I purchased in 2017 is a new body. So I got plastic surgery. I'm actually recovering as we speak. Um, it's been about a week. So yeah, I might be sitting here and looking fabulous, but in reality, it's not the case. Walking is a mission, but I'm slowly getting there. So that's my number one item. That I purchased this year it was the new body I got a mommy makeover um, courtesy of Dr. Redwine Mia who's based at Stanton Media Clinic uh, he's fabulous and yeah I actually shopped around a bit but in the end I went with him because I just loved his service and he spoke the right lingo he spoke exactly what I wanted to hear about my makeover so if you are interested in hearing what it is that I got, what this mommy makeover entailed, please leave a comment down below advising me to do a video on my plastic surgery journey. So that's my top purchase for the year 2017, a new body! Yes, some of you might look at me and say, but you look the same, what was the new body about? Well, I've been hiding some things and yeah, if you want to know more, leave a comment down below and I'll let you know exactly what it entails. The first beauty item that I am loving is uh, by Eve Long. I purchased their brightening cream um, as well as their serum. I am obsessed with these products. Uh, I purchased it from Skins Cosmetics. It's quite, it's a lavish store. They carry wonderful products. And yeah, head on over to Skins. Uh, you can actually purchase their products online, skins.co.za. I know Sephora also sells this, but I purchased it directly from Skins Cosmetics. What I love about Eve Long is how it's just hydrated my skin and just makes it feel so youthful and I look much brighter. Uh, I was having I had these, it was very strange. I had reverse freckles, which were not dark. So my freckles were light, and I didn't like the way it looked. But Eve Long is evening my complexion, which is what I'm after. I mean, I don't want to be light, you know. I enjoy being a Yamani, a dark dindi, and I want to keep it that way, but I want to have like an even skin tone. And this Eve Long Brightening Cream has been amazing so that's what I'm using and if you head um, over to the shop there's Polly who works there she is amazing I'm obsessed with her in fact I keep on going back to the store because of her great service she's just amazing and then my next favorite beauty item is my Genifique my Lancome Genifique youth activating serum I'm really loving this. I actually bought the entire set, but I must say I I mix it up. And then my next purchase that I love are these Fendi glasses. They are the bomb. They're just too cool for school. I am in love with them. I love how they've got the gradient shade. They go from like clear to like a slight tint at the top. And I love this bubble detail. These are just a the bomb. I love these glasses, they're dope. I'll try and link everything down below so that you can get in. Mm. If you'd like to see my sunglass collection, just comment down below and I will like and make a big 
video on my sunglasses. Mm. I love blah 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 blah. They're so different. They're fun. They're just yeah, and you can wear them during the day and my favorite at night. Next up, I'm gonna talk bags. I purchased a few bags this year, but this has got to be my favorite bag. I actually need to take it to the dry cleaners. This is a bit dirty. My current favorite bag is the Chloe Drew. This is in the color gray. I purchased quite a few bags, but why this one has made it to my top list is its convenience. Um, I used to be a big bag carrier, but I found that my bags were always super untidy and I'd always gather up a whole lot of rubbish. So this is currently my go-to bag because of the space. It might look tiny, but as you can see, it's got three compartments. And yeah, so you can see there's a bit of junk. It's red inside, it's got red lining. It's got red lining inside. This is the first compartment. There's, there's the second compartment. Uh, a third compartment. And it's got like these secret compartments where you can keep your cards and coins. There's this compartment. Ooh. Ooh, and look what's in here. Skins Cosmetics. It's actually got Poli Sile's Tolle's uh, business card. The girl I was telling you about. Go check her out and tell her I sent you there. And it's got another one over here. So this is a really cool bag. It just has so much space. It's really pretty. It's quite durable. It is an off-the-shoulder bag and you can wear it as a crossbody. And oh the other thing is I love the mixture in metallics. It's got the gold over here as well as the silver detail and a gold chain. So you're not restricted when you wear this bag. You can wear either gold or silver or wear both as the bag does. So next up, my favorite purchase of the year flat shoes are these um, Chanel espadrilles. I have been wanting espadrilles for the longest time ever and I eventually purchased them. Now I understand the hype. They are so comfortable. So, 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 so comfortable. I love them. Um, I've worn them to, well, almost to death, but I can see I'm going to be wearing them to death. And I fully understand why people go out and buy like multiple pairs of them um, yeah I'm definitely gonna be buying these in different colors and different styles because I am obsessed with these babies just super comfortable and they look great with any casual look they just elevate your look just a tad bit and give you like a bit of class and style loving these espadrilles then my favorite heel are these Manolo Blonics these drove me crazy. I bought quite a few shoes and it was a bit hard deciding which shoes but I think I kind of knew which ones were my favorite. Uh, they've got this huge diamond detail over here and they're black with pink detail. I remember they also had ones that were black with the silver detail but I was like nope 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 I am happy the baby pink detail they are just gorgeous and the lovely thing about them is the comfort they are super comfortable you can go on the whole night with them I love these shoes they are the bomb my next favorite piece is this Christian Dior tuxedo dress I just love the way it looks it's just so elegant and yeah it's me this is me when I think of a dress I think of this and this is just me. I love the pleated detail. I love the double breast buttons over here. As you see, it's just gorgeous. It's got this long navy flap in front, which covers a bit of the pleats. Absolutely love this dress. Then there was a toss up between these two coats. The one coat is, which is definitely my mom's favorite. She calls it the Genesis. 37 3 coat Jacob's coat of many colors. I love this coat. It's so comfy and warm. It's made of sheep skin It's just gorgeous. Love it, but it's not my number one coat. My number one coat has got to be this gorgeous and ultra luxe fur coat. I've wanted a fur coat for the longest time 
And yeah, I've started my collection. This coat is made out of mink and wolf. It's just luxurious and oh, I love it, love it. That's why I chose it over the Genesis 37 3 coat. I just love it. Always wanted fur and I finally got it. My top favorite experiences. I traveled not a lot, but yeah, I went to about a few destinations. I spent some time in Stellenbosch because I started a new job. I also went to Mauritius for my 35th birthday. I was in Hong Kong in September uh, for a quick shopping spree. I also went to Brazil, yes, that was quite fun. So um, my favorite my favorite destination this year had to be Mauritius because uh, I was away from the kids. I was with my husband and we were just drunk in love. Literally, click up top to view it. I I really was happy. I was like, oh, it was the best thing that happened to me this year. White sandy beach, blue water, and snorkeling, and all the activities, and just you know, being in love. It was just the best. My mother-in-law had to even like. Call us to order and tell us not to come back with a baby. How funny is that? Thank you so much for joining me on this journey in 2017. Yes, it was a bit short, but um, I'm going to work on that next year. Hopefully, I'll be able to load more videos and create fresher content. Please do subscribe right down below so you can keep abreast with all my videos. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me on this journey. You guys don't understand how much I appreciate it. And I'm so looking forward to 2018. There's so many exciting things to come. And yeah, I just can't wait. And I can't wait just to go on this journey with you guys, uh, to share it with you. But most importantly, to inspire you to get on with your journey. Or, you know, inspire you to go out there and do whatever it is that makes you happy. That's the whole purpose of this channel. Exploring new things and um, traveling, meeting new, interesting and wonderful people. And just sharing the experiences with you so that you too may be inspired. Um, I've been inspired by quite a few of the people that I come across. Some of them, unfortunately, I've not documented and some I have. And hopefully next year I'll be able to take you with me on this journey and document even more people, more experiences, more travels, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So sit tight and let's ride into 2018. Love you lots and wishing you the best for the year 2018. Ah, thank you.